Ja, cool. Passt. Sind schon so. auf, ganz yeah. Ach so. <lacht> Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. I am Karim, smell of truth, and we are here together with the beautiful Angelina Patchouli. Hello, my dear. I'm excited. I'm glad to have you on my channel. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course. So today we have, especially for men, but honestly, maybe you will find something that you would like to wear yourself. Mm -hmm. But we have in total 12 fragrances, 12 summer fragrances. A lot. We're just gonna start with Angelina's first pick. So um, what I picked is this one and you need to be very fast when you want to buy or purchase this uh, scent. This is from Dolce & Gabbana and this is Light Blue Forever for men. And for me this is more a unisex scent but also very sexy on a man. I would say it's a day uh, scent mm -hmm. and for me it's like a pressed grapefruit. It smells yeah. for me and it's one of the best from Dolce & Gabbana. I bought two backup bottles Ooh. of this one. So yeah, do you li uh, like it or do you not? I do really like this one. This is the best from the line in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. And also long lasting for yeah. me. I had no issues on longevity with this one. No. And even I think it could be also from a niche brand like a summer scent. For me, it's not usual for Dolce Gabbana to have something like this. Yeah, so the quality is there with this one. Oh, the yes. longevity is there. You just need to be fast when you want to buy yeah. it because it's this limited edition. But what would you rate it from one to ten? What would you say? I would say I would give it uh, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. I would yes. agree on an eight out of ten. It's yeah. really good. Yeah. It's amazing. So that, that's my first one here in this video for a reason. Brought only some samples here in case Angelina hasn't smelled them. My first one is Aqua di Gio Eau de Parfum and in my opinion it's not the best Aqua di Gio, but mm -hmm. the best Aqua di Gio for summer. I think this one is um, quite similar to the Eau de Toilette but then somehow with a kind of smoky vetiver that leans in the vibe of Profumo mm -hmm. but still more for summer than Profumo itself. Do I you think, think? Yeah I think really? Profumo is better as a single signature mm -hmm. all year round but the Eau de Parfum is perfect for spring and summertime in my opinion. Oh really? Yeah. I would say it in a complete reversed way. Okay. Do you okay. know why? For me it's like the Profumo is brighter yeah. so it's for summer Okay. and the Eau de Parfum for me ha has something like a deep side. Yeah okay okay. So strange. That's but interesting. Yeah because I wear it for myself so I'm oh, a woman okay, okay. and I, I don't care about if it's for men or for women so uh, I was wearing it and for me it was like this has really like a, a dark side. Okay, okay. I don't know how to explain it. We are also hearing her thoughts and I find it quite interesting. What would you give Aqua Dijo Eau de Parfum from 1 to 10? What would uh, you say? 7.5. 7.5. Yeah. I would actually give it an 8 out of 10. Wow. I mm -hmm. do really like this one, but as I said, I don't think it's the best one. So I have, I, I'm not sure, but uh, if you know this already, yeah, I course. think I have seen it on your Instagram. No, I don't have a Stefan Humbert Lucas bottle okay. yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Haven't purchased you one yet, but I was I was close on buying this one. I was really close on buying this one. What the fuck? This is one of the best, I would say. Yeah. Even I agree. for for summer, this is crazy. This is a mango scent yeah. with kind of woody notes. Mm -hmm. I don't like it if fruity notes smell like something to eat. Do you know okay. what I mean? Yeah. I so hate kind that. of too fruity. You need it kind too of more sweet. in too realistic. Yeah. You need it in a kind of um, artistic. Way. Way. Yes, yeah. something I would pay a lot of money to have it in a bottle. So no uh, cherry gum smell or something yeah. like that. Nothing okay. to eat, I would okay. say. And this is a mango that is really like a niche mango with this woody note. It's so crazy. Mm -hmm. Longevity is crazy. So this is one of the best. This is God of Fire. And I love the flacon. Yeah. I love the bottle. The niche yeah. fragrance for summer. I would recommend to men, but also for for women. Mm -hmm. But I think I have the feeling that it's better on a man because okay. usually <coughs> my day daily life, I don't smell a lot of men with mango. Okay. So I think on, on a man this would be like amazing and something different. Okay, okay. I do agree on the woodiness, but I get yeah? the white florals more. Really? Yeah, I get I the no white, white I get I get more kind of white florals. Do you want to spray? Yeah. 
I do definitely get the mango, but I get some also some kind of sourness mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah, at the beginning, yeah. Yeah, but mm -hmm. then it dries down to also woody, but it is it feels more like a white floral woody way, kind of like jasmine sometimes can yeah. give me. Yeah, jasmine. I think it's yeah. jasmine. Yeah. yeah, I get it. Mm -hmm. But I think if you wear it on your skin, it gets yeah. like woody. Some, at some point, it gets to a woody note. In a summer kind of way, so it's yes. still, you know, it's a kind of tropical and yeah. really good. Yeah, that's the point. If you're searching for something yeah. special for summer and you like fruity notes, test this mango. It's amazing. I agree. This one is really amazing. What rating would you give this one? Um, 9.5 out of 10. 9.5. Wow. Yeah. I give this one a 9 out of 10. We're uh, on the same page for this. Definitely. Definitely. I still need to get a bottle of this one. Yeah, it's a must-have, I think. It's, I think it's a summer must-have. So it's a summer must-have, yeah. yeah. If you have the money, it's a summer must-have, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Next one is for me. Angelina doesn't know that one one yet mm -hmm. so i'm gonna spray it on the test strip and i will match her vibe with the tropicalness because this is from city rhythm miami tropical confessions mm -hmm. it's a very very uh, good scent for summer what i get here is like almond cream yeah light lightly powdery i would say mm -hmm. and sandalwood i get yeah and a little bit of coconut and i'm yeah. not sure if yeah. coconut is in it yeah coconut is, is in it in? Yeah, yeah, yeah oh my yeah. gosh very good nose wow, wow. <laughs> i love it really i love it oh yeah it's i would say it's something for the evening for summer evening yeah i agree summer yeah? evenings or kind of party in ibiza yeah something like yeah. that <laughs> mm -hmm. it's no fresh scent but it's um, yeah. summery yeah yeah Love it, really. Yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. it's really great. So I think, would you say it is sexy? I would say it's sexy. Yeah, but I unisex. agree. I, I I agree on unisex and I agree on sexy. I think this one is great on men and on women. Yeah. Shout outs to Niles, by the way. Very seductive. Very yeah, that's seductive. That's the point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I would say it's sexy, really sexy. What What would be your rating out of ten? I would say it's an eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very or good. maybe eight point so five. Eight point five. Yes. Eight point five and sexy. Yeah. Very good. Everything what starts uh, at eight, I would say it's very sexy. Yeah. For me. Thank you so, for showing this. Yeah, of course, to me. of course, and you can keep the sample. Actually. Oh my gosh! Thank you very much. I could give this one a 10 out of 10, mm. but I think it is a bit exaggerated. I just yeah. really love this. Mm -hmm. So I give it a 9.5. Oh. Really sexy. Yeah. Really sexy. Really. I have a cheapie for you. Oh. I would say something that everyone knows. It's from June Sunder. June Sunder. Sun, Sun Man. And this is for me like a sun cream mm -hmm. on a beach. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's fresh, but also it has sweet vibes. Yeah, it's sun cream on a beach in a bottle. And I love it. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, like yeah. the best one if you have not a lot of money and want to smell smell very good in, on hot days. I agree, I agree. It really gives me that, that sunscreen kind of yes. vibe. I don't feel like it is actually annoying. No, no. Some people find it annoying, I do not. Really? Yeah, yeah. I think it is, it is a bit like sunscreen, but then with a kind of citrusy mm -hmm. freshness yeah. with that vibe. I can't um, explain the yeah. freshness in, yeah, it. Yeah, in it's, here, it's, it's strange. Towards my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh and sweet at the same time. Yeah. So and I creamy. Think, I think it's good chibi for summer. Maybe you inspired me now to show it more often. And wear it. Yeah, and wear it more often. <laughs> yes. I would give this one for it's a good chibi. I would give this one actually a seven out of ten. Oh really? Yeah, I yeah. would say it's eight point five. Eight point five. Do you yeah. find you find it sexy? Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. I Sometimes find it pleasant. In a, really? Yeah, I find it pleasant, but I wouldn't say it's sexy. If, if a man with a very sexy style wears this, it's it's like in combination, it's, yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, that's also one thing to mention, the fragrance alone will never kind of give no. you the amount of compliments and the amount of reactions that you're hoping for. It's always the complete package, yeah. how you look, if you look groomed, if you look good, if you take care of your skin, if you take care of yourself, how is your style? Everything. If everything, everything. Your body language, and, everything. And do you know what is the most important point? Tell when, me. Confidence. 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 Confidence is sexy. Really. Yes. So you can wear a really cheap, not good smelling fragrance. If you have confidence, this smell is like then at the end, the fragrance is at the end good as yeah. possible. I agree. I totally yeah. agree. I think confidence is definitely the 
most important part on everything. Sometimes I wear rose fragrances mm -hmm. that can lean very feminine mm -hmm. and I just pull off a leather jacket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then. And that, you know what I mean? I, mm -hmm. I got a lot of compliments. I just pull this off with a leather jacket and wear it with confidence. Sometimes also some... Best package ever. Yeah, yeah. sometimes also some feminine leaning fragrances. I just wear it with a leather jacket and with mm -hmm. a lot of confidence and people like it. I again match the vibe of Angelina and show you a cheapie. This one is Rasasi Havas. Ah, I heard about this one. I wanted to buy it, to be honest. Yeah, the oh. prices went up on this one. Really? Especially here where we are, here in Switzerland. Switzerland is, everything is yeah, expensive here. Everything is freaking <laughs> expensive here. I love it, really, I love this fragrance. It's like a no-brainer. Yeah, I agree. But it, I agree. what's the price on this? Used to be like 50 bucks or less. Oh. Now I think you can get it for around 70, 80 or even 100 really? bucks. So yeah, the, the, the price is kind of doubled. Mm -hmm. I really love it. It's like fresh, but also like kind of sweet touch yes. in it. But if, at the first time, really, it's it's a fresh scent. It does not smell cheap for me. It smells like maybe from a niche brand that wants to create a no-brainer. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah. you think the quality is actually quite good? Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. does it smell familiar to you? What if I would tell you Paco Rabanne? What would oh, pop in your mind? Which, which, which Invictus? Which? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Invictus Aqua. Oh, okay. It feels a bit like a mixture of Invictus mm -hmm. and Invictus Aqua. Mm -hmm. The 2016 formulation, yeah. apparently. But you would recommend but, the Rosasi one? Yeah, I would definitely say go for the Rosasi one mm -hmm. if you want something that goes in the direction of Invictus. Mm -hmm. Because Invictus, first of all, is watered down and mm -hmm. reformulated. Oh, Second of all, that. more expensive. Mm -hmm. And third of all, I think with this one you smell a little bit more unique yeah. than with Invictus. It's ha it has a seductive side, really. Do you there want you me to it. rank it yes. again? I would say it's an 8. 8? It's an 8, yeah. I agree on that, 8 out of 10. You have a, you have a really good choice here today. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah you, you have really good choices as well. Mm, just good choices here in yeah, this video. Yeah, of course, of yeah. course. You Did you heard about this one? I heard about it, but I haven't smelled it yet. Oh, okay. So this you're is, uh, free to show me. Gilemat from uh, Paris. This brand is from Paris, I think. Aqua Sextius is the name. And here you have a salty, a salty uh, summer fragrance Ooh. with grapefruit in it and a needle. I saw your video on it. Yeah. You mentioned it, it a lot last year, I think. Yes, yeah. yes. So Look I did a one. video and I was like, I need to get a bottle, but I want a sample first. And mm -hmm. no one really was able to send me a sample. Yeah. I should have just texted you, to be honest. Yeah. It just comes in my mind right now. Like, how stupid am I? I'm definitely stupid. I'm looking online for samples and you can only buy bottles or like the 10 or 50 ml yes. from yeah. Jules Lemoyne. And then the shipping costs to France are also expensive. Yeah, to Switzerland even. It's, yeah. it's crazy yeah. all the time. But this what one is say? really good. Yes. Damn. Do you have the Very salty unique. notes in it? It's like a summer breeze salt and so? Yeah, yeah, I do get it a little bit, but mm -hmm. I get the aquaticness more mm -hmm. out of it. Mm -hmm. This is more that aquatic and do we have the needle now? vibe. Yeah, uh, the needle, yeah, 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 yeah. Slightly kind of a green vibe there. Yeah. Really mm -hmm. good, really yeah. good. I'm so in love yeah. with this fragrance. It's so We can crazy. see it, yeah. You, yeah, you've been you can wearing see. this a lot. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's like a lot. Usually, uh, my bottles are like that. Yeah, they don't have a big dent, but this one. Look at it. Wow. Yeah. It's worn, it was worn very often. Yeah. Even from my boyfriend. So it's unisex. <laughs> this one is really, I would recommend this one to. Um, people that want to smell very seductive in summer, but also mm -hmm. something like I have never smelled something like this before. Yeah, but I think this one is really good. Very Your unique. ranking? I'll give this one 8.5. Wow. It's really good. I think this is a sexy scent. I think this is a sexy summer scent. Mm -hmm. Unique, masculine leaning, but mm -hmm. women can wear this one as well, in my yes. opinion. If you want to smell unique as a woman, yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I would even say 10 out of 10. Wow. This one. 10 out wow. of 10, yes. It is really good. I'm not going to tell her which one it is right now. You will see the bottle blended in and mm -hmm. she can only see a small sample of it. Do I know but the brand already? Or? I don't think so, but let me know your thoughts before I mm -hmm. tell you. Yeah, it's like, it's a summer breeze, it's yes. salty, it's yeah, really okay. fresh, it's uh, like maritime notes, it's like... 
and citrus, citrus, mm -hmm. yeah, bergamot or something like this. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of neroli, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it. Oh. It's like a South of France fragrance. Okay, okay. Yeah. This is uh, it's like freedom. Freedom. Yeah. I like that. I like this that. Is this is Sahara, Sahara mm -hmm. Signature Citrine. Wow. So you have her first impression on the Sahara fragrance in general. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Very yeah. good. Yeah. To it's... me, this one is a citrusy, light summer scent. Something that yeah. you can wear it actually all year around, but mm -hmm. the best in summertime, you know? This yeah. is also very good office scent in my mm -hmm. opinion. Yeah. Also so, unisex. Yeah. I, yeah I, th unisex. I think I think so as well. If you're a woman and you like uh, citrusy fragrances mm -hmm. and some light kind of fragrances, definitely. I would unisex. even say this is like uh, um, a citrus fruit with salt on it. Oh, okay. Okay. If you I want do to not have get, a picture. <laughs> yeah. I do not get salt out no? of it. No, not really. It's very amazing. Good, very it's good. very very good. Yeah. And it smells like a niche fragrance. Yeah, you can smell the quality out yes. of it. Perfect. Yes. That, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Thank you so much, Angelina. Yeah. Really? I love it. What would really? you give it from one to ten? I would say it's an 8.5. Wow. We have so many amazing fragrances yes. here. Everything is above yes. 8. It's yes. strange. <laughs> I have a no-brainer for you. Okay. It's really a no-brainer where you can wear in summer. It's cheap. You can wear it in the office. You can wear, you can wear it everywhere. Yeah. It is this one, Versace de Lin Blue. I agree. I this one is agree. so cheap. It smells like, for me, it's like a shower gift. And also with very masculine. It's yeah. like uh, it's like in the advertisement where the man is uh, entering the sea, the ocean. Yeah. yeah. Um, with a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> it's really like this one, but it's oh. fresh at the first, um, first point. It's, yeah. It's fresh. Yeah. Yeah. I like this one a lot as well. And do you also get Dior Sauvage vibes out of this one? No. No? Okay. No. I think this one is um, has that Ambroxan yeah. vibe from Dior Sauvage, but then... Less made, sweet? A little bit sweeter than Sauvage, in my opinion, mm -hmm. than the Eau de Toilette. Mm -hmm. And, but uh, in the background, but then the aquaticness kind of, that uh, kind of darkness, but mm -hmm. still very fresh. Yeah. So kind of dark aquaticness together with that Ambroxan. Mm -hmm. I think this one is a very good replacement for Sauvage if you are what sick of it. Yeah, and if you want to not uh, spend a lot of money on exactly. your and if you Exactly, and if you don't want to smell like every second dick <laughs> around the corner. You don't like uh, <laughs> Sauvage? No. Really? Not at, all, not at all. I think for layering it's amazing. Okay. Because I love Amazon. I haven't tried that. Haven't tried? No, I haven't okay. tried layering it because I, I don't like it on its own. Okay. I really dislike it. Okay, for this I would say I would give seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Yes. I would even go as far and give this one for a signature, mm -hmm. a kind of designer cheapy, an eight out of ten. Mm, okay. I really like this one. Yeah. And I used to wear this one as well a lot in summertime. Mm -hmm. How is the longevity on your skin? I love 10, 11 hours. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. I have really, but I'm also an oversprayer. Yeah. I have to be honest. Yeah. I really spray a lot. All of us, I think, <laughs> yeah. we need to like 50 Shower, spray. you know, fragrances. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Also, a popular flanker of a very popular scent. You can tell me if you recognize it immediately. Oh, it's so similar to one second. Ah, Prada Long. Yes. Prada Long. Yes. Love this it. Is the, this is the L'O. Ah. Prada Long L'O. Okay. It's like a brighter version? Or? Yes. A kind of more kind of brighter, summery, mm -hmm. citrus kind of version. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Wow. <laughs> really, kind of I love it. Here. Wow. It's like a clean vibe. It's yeah. A little bit of gentleman in the summer. Yeah, I love it. This was very important. Gentleman in the summer. Yes. Yes. Definitely a summer scent in the office, in my mm -hmm, opinion, if mm -hmm. you want to go like clean and kind of soapy-ish, but still a bit fresher because it is summer, something lighter. Mm -hmm. I think Prada Lom Lo is probably the best out there. It is not discontinued, or? I have no idea. I haven't heard anything yet. Yeah, okay. I think I need there to was buy it. 
I think there was an ocean flanker or something yeah. like that. That one is discontinued. Okay. But I think this one should still be available. Hmm. I need to buy it really. Yeah. For this me. one is really And great. for my boyfriend. But yeah. I will wear it for me as well because I love this kind of clean soapy yes. fragrances. And also for layering, it's amazing. Perfect. So you, we also have some layering tips here from Angelina. Yeah, I love to layer. <laughs> really, I love it. And I have something, you know the brand already, yes. you said it. It's this one, Roberto Ugolini Azzurro. And for me, this is like, uh, do you want me to spray? Yes. Yeah, this is a fresh, clean uh, raspberry. Oh yeah, now I remember. Yeah, I used to have a bottle of this one as well. Mm -hmm. I just was a bit disappointed in terms of longevity oh, on my yeah. skin. Yeah, you really need to overspray it. Yeah, hmm? it's really a great scent, don't get me wrong. But if you buy a fresh bottle, I got like five hours. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, that's not so much. That's, that's not so much, do yeah. Do you have dry skin? Which skin do you I have? Skin type? It's, it I depends. I actually don't know. Yeah, that depends also. Moisturize my skin at least like once every two weeks. Oh, okay. So, so not so often. <laughs> not so often, yeah. No, it's not a raspberry, it's a strawberry. Sorry for Strawberry, me. okay. Yeah. Sorry for my English. <laughs> it's a strawberry. Strawberry, okay. But in fresh. Strawberry, do you get I that? get that, I get that, yeah. 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 But I do really like the scent. Like yeah. it gives me a kind of also a fresh kind of champagne vibe. Yes, very, I think champagne is in yes, it, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Sparkling, very fresh, very elegant, very mm -hmm. luxurious. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a luxurious kind of summer scent, yeah. this is definitely it. And also I get good vibes. When yes. I spray it, it's like good vibes in a yes. bottle. And a lot of compliments. I gave yeah. um, this one to uh, my aunt mm -hmm. and she worn it, she has worn it. And she said she got a thousand of compliments from all the sides. Oh, all the people okay. that she uh, met at the day gave her compliments on this scent. Wearable for men and women. Yeah, it's unisex. I think yeah. so too. Yeah, if you're looking for a strawberry, that's it. The strawberry isn't that heavy, it's really like a kind of light strawberry, so yeah, don't be afraid that it will smell like. It's like a white like, strawberry. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah, kind of. With champagne on it. With champagne, yes. yeah, it smells a bit like a. Pool party, a yeah. luxurious pool party in, mm -hmm. in, a, in a villa somewhere. That's the pool. You yeah. can jump in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really good, really good. I will mm -hmm. give this one actually from the sand alone a 9 out of 10. How much? 9. 9? Wow. 9! 9! 9! Even I would say 9 out of 10. Nine Even 9.5 I would 9. say. 9.5? Yes. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it is really a gorgeous scent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna spray it on my skin just to. It is Roberto Ugolini 17 Rosso. Yes, so we mm. match on the brand. Mm -hmm. This one is the old formulation. Ah, okay. It got reformulated mm -hmm. in March last year. Ah, I think. because of the ingredients? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was forbidden. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, Nexus got reformulated, mm -hmm. but I already made a video on that one. Mm -hmm. So, I love the Chassette Rosso. Mm -hmm. This one is by far my favorite. Mm -hmm. I think this is a 10 out of 10. Oh, wow. Can I smell it on your yes, skin? Yes, sure. It's on your skin, it's more fruity. Mm -hmm. On my skin, I, I, I get like a lot of smoke okay. when I wear it, a lot of smoke. So that was why I was a bit confused when you said it's for yeah. summer. Yeah. But on your skin, I get the idea, yeah. really, yeah. really. Maybe this is why I think this one is also very good for summer. Yeah. Because on my skin, the fruitiness really comes mm -hmm. out and I think it's good for spring but also very good in summer. Yeah, maybe on a summer day. Yeah, even. on a summer, yes. It's sexy. I would yeah, say it's I sexy. I think so too, I mm -hmm. think so too. Amazing. It has a kind of fruity, kind of peach vibe yeah. in it. Some, some slight spices, some floral rose. Yeah. It's some like spicy a peach saffron. rose. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's on your skin, it's completely different. Really, I need to say that now. I love it on your skin. <laughs> well, there we have it. So definitely make sure to try this one. Mm -hmm. Diciassette Rosso Roberto Bolini. What would be your rating on it? Um, now on your skin, I would say 10 out of 10. Mm, if we say like in general? In general, on my skin, I would say 5 out of 10. On your mm -hmm. skin, 10 out of 10. So, so let's, let's meet in the middle. 7.5. 7.5 out yes. of 10, very good. Mm -hmm. Great. Wow. Very Amazing nice. sense here in this yes. video for summer. Yeah. 
and amazing people yeah. as well. <laughs> thank you for having me in your yeah. video. Of course, thank you for being in English. here. Yeah. <laughs> You did very well. Thank you Don't worry. very much. If you are able to speak German, definitely check out Angelina Pacciuti. We made a YouTube. video. Yes, we made a video together. Uh, you will see it at the end and you will also see down in the description all her socials so you can support Angelina Thank Pacciuti. Thank you very much. Thank of you course. very much. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy and see you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye. She wanna make the